is Eclipse Day. Can you tell? <laughs> ET phone home. Anyways, y'all, I'm Madfish. I'm your host of Young and Excellent. And thank you so much for hitting that button and coming to this video or coming to this link to listen to this Spotify podcast. We appreciate it so much. And we are a platform for young people to share their success stories, to share their life stories, anything they want to share. We're here. We're here to listen. And we love being able to dive into everyone's fantastic young and excellentness. So thank you so much for tuning in every week. And Make sure to follow us. I always forget to say that, but today I'm gonna say it. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We'd love it, thank you. And help me welcome to the show, Taylor Hartwick, my near and dear cousin. I love her so much. She is a fan favorite at the theater, Sarnia, of course. Uh, you can see her all the time at the Imperial Theater and we're gonna dive into what it's like to be a community theater patron and what it's like to just do theater and what it's like to make a character come to life. So I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much again for tuning in and thank you to the Sarnia Journal for sponsoring us, publishing us and uplifting us. We really, really appreciate it. Y'all are fantastic over there. Shout out to Nathan. Shout out to Tara. We love you guys so, so much. And uh, make sure to subscribe to their daily email blasts. They're really important and they keep you in the know, which I think is important. Just like ET. Yeah. Taylor, y'all got excellent. Wow. <laughs> it was the eclipse today, so I wore my ET sweater my because it's an original. It's wonderful. <laughs> I honestly I didn't it. even know the eclipse was happening really? until like three days ago. And my mom's like, are you serious? And I'm like, <laughs> I had not a single clue in the world Did it was happening. Did you watch it? No, no, I was getting ready. Oh, fair. These eyebrows. Fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to draw them on. You got to make them perfect. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, we appreciate it. I'm sure yeah. our audience appreciates oh, it. They bought it <laughs> well, Yeah, okay. So let's dive in right away to Little Mermaid. You are playing Sebastian, Sebastian. which is like such a challenge, but also what a joy. It is such a challenge. Yeah. It's insane because I find myself struggling because... Not only is it stereotypically a racial difference, mm -hmm. it's also a gender difference. Yeah. And so me as myself, like I am really good at imitating people mm -hmm. and that's a strength that I have when Absolutely. Um, starting to build a character. Mm -hmm. And with this character, I'm starting literally from scratch. I have no one to compare to. No. At, at all. No, especially <laughs> here. Like, no. You exactly. Yeah. So it's been a huge struggle for me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, I know this character. I know this movie. But it's like, I cannot wrap my head around it. I'm very excited for yeah. it. We did our first um, run through of Act One yesterday. And I was like, okay, I think we're good. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. But I was like, I'm still just, I'm still building. And I know it's like really soon to show. But, mm -hmm. and I know I'll get there. But it's definitely been a struggle. Yeah, it's are you interesting. doing the Jamaican accent? No. Okay, I was no. gonna say, I was like, Taylor, we're in for some long no, roads no, 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 if you're gonna no. do it's that. It's just dramatic. And yeah. it's like with a little touch of royalty. Mm. I would love to do a accent, mm -hmm. but the accent I brought forth to uh, La Director mm -hmm. was shot down. Hey. I was like, okay, can you picture a crab coming out stage? You know and love Sebastian, but picture her now as uh, with a New Jersey accent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I played with it and it works so well. And she's like, no. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> oh my God, though, but like that, that would be, be really good. It was so, it's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'll keep that in the back of my head because I'm yeah. like, that's a really cool way to do Sebastian. But I, I'm really excited to see how you take the character because you're so expressive on stage. And so I would love to know because, like, obviously we did theater mm -hmm. when we were young together. I didn't do Hidden Talents, all that fun stuff, mm -hmm. but, or Nightingales or anything like that. <laughs> but Act 2 we did together. Yes. And so I would love to know, like, how did you learn how to be so expressive? Because I feel like you came out of almost like the womb like that. And I just feel like I've always been so curious about it. It's so funny because, yes, I have always been expressive, but... I need to reflect to a conversation I had with my mom last week. <laughs> we were watching the um, the, do the new documentary that came out about Nickelodeon. <sighs> yeah, and long story set. short, we're watching the little snippets of Amanda Bynes. And I'm like, hey, 
Yay. That's me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I know that absolutely. person. Absolutely. Literally. And to I was team. like, mom. Yeah. Right there. That's yeah. it. That's Absolutely. it. A huge influence. I think that was so buried mm -hmm. that I had no idea until I watched that doc documentary. Yeah. Oh my and gosh. So, I could see that. Yeah. But also just, I'm just dramatic mm -hmm. and I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I've just always been loud. <laughs> It's, it's just, it's my personality. So yeah, I'm just going with it. You know, honestly, that's fair, <laughs> but it's worked for you. It has. Yeah. So what's your favorite role you've ever done on stage? My favorite role I've ever done. <sighs> Instantly, I think of Elle Woods from Legally oh, Blonde. I didn't get to see you in that role. And I'm so mad about it because I think you were freaking fantastic. It was so good. I, I, I knew when I heard about that show, I literally dropped to the floor when I heard about it, like, it was during a gala mm -hmm. and, and it was Daryl that message or was talking to me yeah. and he, I didn't know he was going to be the, uh, the director at the time. I didn't and know he, he directed like, that. Yes. Oh, Daryl. And, <laughs> and so he told me about it. I dropped instantly. I'm like, it's mine. I have to have it. <laughs> it's my role. I was like, I'm not giving them an option. Yeah. I'm walking in and I'm taking it. Yeah. It is mine. <laughs> you have to do that. And I did the same with what I think is probably my second favorite role, um, with Portia from oh, something rotten. Oh yes. Very recently. So oh I gosh. absolutely loved that show. Mm -hmm. It's in my top five favorite shows. Oh my gosh. And so it's legally blonde, but it's yeah. like, Something Rotten's probably like top three, whereas mm. Lily Blonde's in like four or five. That's fair because I feel like Something Rotten had something very unique about it. Exactly. It was the first show after COVID, mm -hmm. and also the cast was so much fun. It was, and the so show's so much good. fun, and it's so it's so smart mm -hmm. and it's quirky and it's it's Shakespeare, but they talk about like butts. Yeah, and it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, and the costumes were like oh, just they were beautiful, amazing. and they a were lot amazing. of them came right from Stratford. Yeah, and that's so cool. It was one. It was wonderful. And, and they're doing yeah. it back at Stratford. Yes. Yeah. We're wow. doing a group trip. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, you guys have to. And we actually did a group trip to Georgetown a few months ago because Paul, the guy that played our Shakespeare, his brother was playing Shakespeare. That's So nice. we brought our crew and our cast and we were the loudest people there. Yeah, you have to be. You have to be. And like, it was, it was oh my so gosh. fun. And it's a show I will continuously rewatch like oh. over and over. I absolutely love it. Oh, that's so awesome. Fun. Now, speaking of like that social aspect, like doing group trips and stuff like that, do you find like most of your community is from the theater then? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard. You yeah. bond so much on the show. It's, it's true. It's true. Um, but I also like from my work, I find myself knowing a lot of other people too mm -hmm. and a lot of them they'll know me from the theater yeah. but I'll know them from like the shoe store or the sh or the, the flower store and it's yeah. just kind of I'm, I'm a little bit everywhere that's always nice I also think that Sarnia also brings that out in people yeah. because there are so many different avenues to get involved which is really mm -hmm. nice but they're not at the same time so yeah. it's kind of like it's once selective. you join one group you kind of get connected you to stay there yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. oh my gosh that's Absolutely. awesome that you guys do group trips it's, I like it's so fun and I have a thing for planning like you should have seen the itinerary <laughs> and the the driving chart that I made the driving chart I made a driving chart like like for cars yeah because some people were going to join us for brunch and some people were going to do dinner mm -hmm. so before and after and then who's in which car and who's switching because some people aren't staying for one and some are staying for the other wow it was all color-coded it was beautiful oh that sounds like people a loved it dream. they thought it was funny yeah <laughs> I was just like that's just me why aren't you in like a van like a van oof Whoa. Oh, Event no. planning. Great question. I feel like you've got an the answer. brain for it, man. Um, I, and I do love that kind of stuff. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's yeah. just never been anything that's, that's been fair. brought up to me. And if it's meant for you, we'll come to you. It's true. And I think, you know, when it comes back to the theater, stage managing slash mm -hmm. producing is like in my blood with it, yeah. with that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Like figuring stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you can swear. It's okay. like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Um, so it's like, I always say, you know, I'm a stage manager, producer at heart. Yeah. Cause I do love that little stuff, yeah. but it's just like, it's gotta be the right show for me not to audition, but yeah. also still want to be drastically involved. I understand that actually like hardcore. I love stage managing and I love directing, but when there's a show I want to act in like the wolves, I had a couple opportunities where I could have been involved in like the production crew. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, mm -mm. I was mm -mm. like, I'm, I'm gonna be on that stage. Mm -hmm. Cause that's meant for me. Yeah. I think you just know, like you watch Love Island. No. At all? Oh, okay. The UK version, they have like a saying that it's like, that's a bit of me. 
Like when they see someone that's attractive that they're oh. attracted to, it's like, oh, that's a bit of me. And that's how I feel about theater. When I think of like a role that I really want to do, I'm like, that's a bit of me. Like that's I funny. need to be there. I need to do it because that's me, you know? So that's how I feel about, I, I get it. I totally get it. Uh, what play would you stage manage for? Well, I don't know anything about plays, but or, musicals. Or musicals. <laughs> okay. Um, oh gosh, I really would have to dig deep and think about that because there are so many I would love to be a part of. Mm -hmm. I, I would need time. Yeah, that's come, fair. Come back to me. Because then, yeah, <laughs> then you'd also figure out what role you'd want versus exactly. stage managing. Exactly. So you mentioned earlier there's a top five. There is a top What's five. What's the top five? My number one, Come From Away. Oh. The emotions. Let me tell you, yeah. when I saw that show on stage the first time, Oh. Before the first number was even done, mm. I was bawling my eyes out. And I've heard yeah, all the music before. Yeah. I've seen little snippets. I've seen the Tony performances. Nothing, nothing beats, compares. No, nothing. And it's coming back, energy. and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go again. I, yeah. Oh, it's on Apple TV. No. 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 <laughs> We're doing it again. <laughs> I will watch it on TV, but again, it does yeah. not. I guess when I was in my master's, I was talking to a film major about this because she genuinely could not fathom why theater is different than film. Why going to a movie theater is different than going to a theater mm. production. She's like, it's the same thing. And I'm like, no, but when you're sitting there and you feel the energy from the, the cast. Absolutely. The audience, everything. She's like, yeah, but don't you do that with the screen? And I'm like, no, no you don't no. do it with a the screen. They don't change what's happening because no. of what's happening in the audience. Yeah. You know, if you if they miss a joke and it's like, oh, yeah. we're going to just keep going. Okay. Or when the walls fall down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the producers. <laughs> You know, like I was backstage magic. for that, and oh I was like, God. "Oh no, it's something's happening." Yeah. <laughs> but it's magic, and come from away. I think is such a is a <sighs> testament to that yes. because just the emotion. Yes, and you can relate to it because we were all alive at that time. Absolutely, like that's so nuts. Absolutely, and there is like there's a dream part in there too, Janice, mm. the the oh, TV reporter. <laughs> my God, you'd be so good as Janice. I would absolutely love to play Janice. <sighs> but the other, well, you're here to hear at theater. You heard it here. You heard it here first. I'm coming for it. <laughs> Elbows up. Yeah, I'm the place. Stage manage that one. So there you go. I'll, I'll put in a good Oof. word for you. <laughs> and that one, that's 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 yeah. a tr that's a tough it's show. A tough one, but so worth it. Yeah. Um, but the other one, so top three, so come from away, and no particular order here. Mm. Something rotten mm. and Shrek. Oh, Shrek. Shrek is so Shrek. underappreciated. I know. And it I hurts have my to feelings. Say, I know, and I'm going to hurt your feelings because I don't like Shrek the musical that much. I know. I know. I know. It's me. I know. So okay, the thing is, I think I would love to be artistically involved somehow, okay. like set designing mm -hmm. or like light designing or even sound designing. But in terms of being on that stage or directing or stage managing, okay. I'm not a big fart joke person. <laughs> and, uh, See, I, yeah. and so that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's where the line is. Yeah. But I still really appreciate the production. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, four and five would be Legally Blonde and Newsies. Oh, Newsies. What do we not love about Male Harmony? Oh, my God. Tell me. Tell oh me one thing God. we don't love. There, Can't do it. No, no. Male <laughs> Harmony, there's something just angelic about it. Oh, like, honestly. So good. Oh, Newsies. I really want theater starting to do Newsies so badly. There were like rumors through the rumor mill and I was like, yes, 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 yes. And then it like totally tanked and I'm hoping yeah. it comes back oh. up for Carrie Beauchamp wants to do it. I'm like, please, Carrie, please Somebody, do it. Somebody please just do, do this it. show because we have so much talent in this city that we could absolutely do it. Absolutely. What yeah. about Newsies is like, oh. What is about Newsies? Well, I just, I love men singing <laughs> and I love men dancing. Yeah. It's just for me, it hits differently. It does. Because I think it maybe has to do with, like, the stereotype of, mm. you know, it's it's artistic and, you know, maybe a little bit more feminine. Yeah, you yeah. You know, so when, when men do it, and I don't know, I just, I just love it. There's I don't know what joy. it is. I feel like because, like, I feel like when you're a kid and you have, like, your guy friends and, like, you're in grade two or three, mm -hmm. you're dancing all the time. You're having fun sure. all the time. And you see the joy. Yeah. And then suddenly, like, that diminishes throughout the years. Yeah. So I think when you see it on stage, it brings back all that child, like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys still do it. Yeah. Like, I do it all the time, but you yeah. guys still do it. I, I completely agree with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I just, I absolutely adore it. I love the, the costumes. I love the sound of the music. I love the story. Mm. And... And Jeremy Jordan. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. 
it's not for him. It's not for him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, I love that. So for anybody listening or watching here who wants to get involved in theater, what would be your advice to them or for them, not to them? Um, if it's theater starting specifically, mm. well, or any, anywhere actually, just keep auditioning, mm. keep showing up yeah. and you know what, go to the workshops. Mm -hmm. There's consistently ones for backstage, yeah. there's onstage ones and just put your toe in that door yeah. and see what happens and just have fun with it. Yeah. You know, be yourself. Don't, don't change for anybody. Yes. And absolutely. You will be embraced. Aww, you know, I love that. What is your favorite part about that audition process? Nothing. <laughs> Not one damn thing. <laughs> I, I no hesitation. Like the whole thing. No. Auditions? No. Goodbye. No. Forever. No. Oh, why don't you like them? I get so nervous. That's fair. Especially when you care. Like, yes. it's hard. And when, but when I go on stage, like, opening night, like, not a care in the mm, world. No. If I'm saying a speech mm -hmm. in front of a group of people, <gasps> knees yeah. be shaken. Yeah, shaken. Knees be shaken. Okay, okay. Because I don't know. Maybe it's a sense of I am being shown as myself mm. versus a character. That's uh, that's a, it's the same thing as masking. It's the yeah. same thing as like putting on an alter ego and like For that sure. kind of thing of being out of yourself because it doesn't matter if I'm somebody else. Mm -hmm. But I do agree there's a vulnerability in auditioning Absolutely. because you have to say like most times you slate and you have to say I am this person. I yes. am doing this and it's like hoof. Yeah. That means this group of 5 people <laughs> are going to be judging me yes. and my talent as opposed to me as a character. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I yeah. I, I I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I get so nervous. I always, I crack, I choke <laughs> and like I'll borderline stutter too. Mm. And it's like, Oh, the worst part about it though is the cold reads. I'm dyslexic. <gasps> oh, same. I get and that. So, oh my God. It usually like some particular directors in town know that. Mm -hmm. So when I take a good three minutes to look at five lines, yep. they're like, it's fine. And I'm just like, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate I, you. I really have to stare at it though mm. and force myself not to like drift yeah. or get distracted. And it's, it's definitely a struggle, but, um, yeah, I have to, I love when directors send this, like the sides like earlier yes. because then I just read and read and read. Yes. I, I have like pretty bad dyslexia, especially yeah. reading out loud. Can't yes. do it. It's very difficult. Agreed. Theater has helped. Mm -hmm. I think theater mm -hmm. has definitely helped, but I just, it really like mm -hmm. upsets me when I don't get lines right in auditions. So mm -hmm. like I have to like, Oh yeah. So I get that. That's oh, actually yeah. a really good I'm like, point. Da, 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 da. And yeah. It's so bad. It's like, oh, that word said this. Whoops. I'm I, so sorry, guys. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, how do you overcome that though? Because again, you're on stage quite frequently. I am. I, <laughs> I, I don't overcome it. I have Cinderella auditions next week oh, and so I am shaking in my boots. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, you want you just want to do good. You want to yeah. put forth your best. And it's, you know, I try to think of it as, you know, another shot of performing, mm. but that doesn't help. No, ever. No, it really and doesn't. I'm, I think just maybe the consistency of keep auditioning. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's only so been like hard. 20 years, but it's fine. But I think that's such a beautiful statement for you to share though, because again, you are a very familiar face in the community. And for you to say that you still struggle with that. Oh yeah. For somebody who's a first timer or maybe a second or third timer, it's still like to hear that from you is actually quite like inspiring <laughs> because it's like, well, if she can do it, I can do it. Yeah. Which is like really nice because then now when I think about it, I'm like, well, even Taylor gets nervous. So. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I think that that's really important to share those things. But when you get the role, because obviously <laughs> you get the role, how does that like, like lift you? Like, do, like what do you go through? It's very encouraging because I think, you know, I've paid my dues in my earlier mm -hmm. years where people started to see what I was capable of. Mm -hmm. So it's just having faith, yeah. knowing that they do know yeah. what I am capable of. They know I can hit that note. They know I can actually pronounce long words yeah. um, <laughs> without spitting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, it's, it's just nice. Yeah. Oh, I, I understand. I get so hyped. Yeah. Like I literally will be buzzing for at least a week about it. Yeah. Like oh, my oh, brain will oh, just yeah. go back to it and then I'll keep looking at the poster and I'm like, like oh, my name. I made it. <laughs> ah. Like, oh my God. Like when I got into Clue, even though it was just like the cook roll, I was just like, I'm back. 
Yes. <laughs> it's so good. I'm so happy. I saw that twice. Oh my god, it was such a fun show. Oh yeah. But uh but yeah, no, I just feel like it's it's euphoric almost yeah. when you get it. But then when you don't get it, when is a moment that you can recall where you didn't get a role you wanted and it crushed you a little bit? Because it will crush you. Guys, it will Absolutely. crush you. Absolutely. Um, I can say very honestly and openly that there have yes, I am a familiar face mm. and I have and I, I've been given um, really great roles. I very not often get the roles that I want and audition for. Mm, and that's a perfect okay example itself. is Sebastian. I did mm. not audition for Sebastian. Yeah. At all. Because <laughs> I, I remember we had a conversation about Little Mermaid and I didn't see Sebastian on your list when we were talking about yeah. it. So, yeah, how interesting. Yeah. And um, like, I think if I can recall, L. Woods, Portia, and the congregation in the Canadian premiere of Hunchback of Notre Dame, mm. I believe were the only three roles wow. that I auditioned for, that I wanted, that I did get. Wow. And you've done like, I don't know, like what, a hundred shows? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, maybe, maybe as a total. But, <laughs> but that is like yeah. pretty impressive that you are very resilient in that factor. Yeah. But again, for like, cause I think this is such a healthy conversation to have because sure. like for people who are interested in this or share your sentiment, yeah. like how do you go into that show knowing you didn't get the role you mm -hmm. wanted and then still come out on the other side and kill it? I don't know. I just, I, I think I have, I know I have my strengths mm. and I think I get put into a little bit of a box mm. and I'm trying to expand that box. Yeah. Um, it's just waiting for those opportunities to get that chance yeah. to kind of explore different types of characters. Yeah. Cause there are characters that are, nothing like what people have seen me do mm -hmm. that I would love to do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, no, it... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it is uncomfortable sometimes, yeah. you know? Like, I remember uh, in high school, I had, like, the to confront that beast of knowing mm -hmm. that I probably wouldn't get the roles that mm -hmm. I wanted because, yeah. one, super short. Yeah. Two, curvy as hell. Mm -hmm. And then three, like I have a very deep voice, a yeah. very deep voice. Even when I sing, I'm in a tenor. Like I, I sometimes go to bass, like I don't have a high voice. Right. And so confronting that and being like, I will never be a romantic lead. I will most likely never be a Disney princess. And that's fine with me because I'm not usually attracted to those roles anyways. Okay. But confronting that yeah. and just knowing that you are not going to be put into that because you've been put into this box over here. Mm -hmm. How do you break that open, though? I don't know if it's just maybe just going forth with, you know, I'll, I'll accept the role mm -hmm. that you've been, I, I've been given. And, you know, maybe they'll just see next time that, oh, she's a go-getter. Yeah. Or is it, you know, maybe putting a little bit of a resistance on, what you accept at your auditions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the often on the form, it's will you accept another role or will you accept ensemble? Mm -hmm. You're allowed to say no. Yes. And it's okay to oh say no. Oh my gosh, I hate when people criticize people I for saying no. I 100% agree. Yeah. Because I have done that in mm -hmm. the past yeah. and I know other people that have done that in the past and they get criticized, but I don't. Mm. And I don't know why. And yeah. you know, it Maybe it just happens, but um, yeah, maybe just kind of putting my foot down a little bit. Yeah. It's like, I want this part mm -hmm. and you know, I know I'll be great for, I would be great for other parts yeah. or even ensemble, you know, yeah. I, can, I can hold a note. Absolutely, um, yeah, absolutely. I, I want this, I want this part mm -hmm. and it's okay if I don't get it, I just don't, I won't be in a part of the show yeah. and that's okay. And that's okay. Cause especially we have to remember that like in a community theater, we're volunteers. Yes. Absolutely. Our time is valuable. Absolutely. You know? And so you have to respect yourself and your time and what you want mm -hmm. to put forward for it. Like I know for me, like I, I remember for all the rebound plays, act two productions, mm -hmm. I would literally put on my form, do not make me a lead. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, listen, I need to be ensemble because I need more work on my voice. I need more work with my dancing. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm looking for an experience that's going to give me a well-rounded theater training vibe. And ensemble does that. Yeah, absolutely. It's like you dance, you sing, you act, you do everything. Absolutely. Sometimes leads don't get to do all three. It's true. And so I remember like Mulan Burke was so mad at me for fame because she wanted to make me a lead for that show. And I was like, no, I don't want it. I know. And I mean, like with that cast, there's no way I was going to get it anyways. But like, I'm just, I'm just saying that like, 
it's also okay to do the reverse too, sure. but just knowing what you yeah. want out of the experience. I feel like that's so important yeah. as an actor, whatever, like, you know, but that's really, really interesting that like you share that too. Cause some people in theater certainly don't, you yeah, know? And so, okay. you know, it's just, a, it's a it's fact. Just, it's, it's just okay. a fact. It's fact. It's fact. Okay. You're allowed to say no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So in terms of like, your journey through being a character because again you are so fantastic at character work i've seen it i've been a part of your character work (laughs) and so what what is your process i think oh honestly i don't have one specific Mm, that's fair process it's just i think it depends on the character um i think it depends on who i'm interacting with Mm. and how they interact with me yeah and but also you know what is the the vision that maybe the director has taking mm-hmm. that into account and then kind of taking all that and being as loud as possible afterwards yeah, yeah and then yeah, just absolutely. kind of what's left yeah, they'll say yeah. no maybe a little less and I'm like oh okay okay but that's the best way to do it yeah. take it up here so oh, they can bring it down yeah. <laughs> I love that though I yeah. think it's a really good process and I love what you said about like bringing in the care like the director's vision mm-hmm. oh of course I just think that's so important because a lot of times people get a role and it's like I have to do it this way and mm-hmm. it's like Okay, but your director is also there to collaborate with you on that character work, and you gotta kind of have a little bit of wiggle yeah. room in it. Yeah. Things that you didn't think of before. Like when we got play polish for the wolves, uh, I was told to stop smiling on stage because <laughs> my character is like so like just just going through an identity crisis basically. Sure. And so I tried it out, and I was like, I love that. Yeah. Way more than what I was doing. <laughs> so if you're not flexible, yeah, like it is, you can get rigid, and it's not mm-hmm. the best performance you can do. You know. Yeah. But in terms of next season, now that it's been announced, yes. <laughs> so you are going out for Cinderella. I've I heard, am going out for Cinderella. Obviously, you said you were auditioning. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's so. I hope you get a part. Is there anyone that you're hoping for? Well, just as we were speaking about, um, I am a one and done uh, oh, for this show. One and I done. I want. I want to be Cinderella. Obviously, come on. Um, You'd be fantastic. I know I'd be a good stepsister mm-hmm. and maybe even a fairy godmother. Oh, fantastic, but yeah. I, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just like, okay, we'll, yeah. s- we'll see what happens. Yeah. But I will also be auditioning for Rent. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Okay, what's the, what's the role for Rent? Um, ideally, Maureen. Oh, my God. That's my bucket list role, but I can't do it, so please do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god you'd be fantastic oh yeah it's like how many people can do that over the moon song come on oh my god it's so obnoxious it's so amazing over the moon <laughs> oh my god yes yeah. oh my god I'm i would so love to do it. it's something show. different for yeah. me like vocally um but I, yeah I'm, I'm gonna go for it but i would also i would take chorus in a heartbeat i oh would love god. to just be a part Wrench. of this show yeah like Oh my gosh. Just yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> just because like, I just feel like rent is such, again, a unique experience, mm-hmm. but it tackles like hardcore shit. It does. Like really yeah, like yeah, yeah. in the depths of the belly of the beast kind yeah, of thing. Yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm so excited because I'm like, I just can't wait to like see it yeah. and see it come to life. And mm-hmm. on our stage, I know. It's so good. I think people are going to respond really well to it because it's it is edgy, yeah, edgy rock opera. Yeah, Um, it's not you know traditional. Yeah, Um, but I think I think people are really going to like it. I think so. Whatever happens, like yeah, I just think you know it's a show that's not. I don't know if it's not talked about a lot, but it's it's not maybe one you think about for community theater because it is so maybe particular well and also there's like a lot of like sexually explicit kind of yeah you gotta be careful right yeah 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 yeah. like it's like Mm -hmm. oh god yeah but i feel like if anyone's gonna do it we we are like if we did heathers we can do (laughs) oh yeah that just set the bar everything else is below yeah yeah it's like come on we can do it we can do it but that is so fantastic so outside of theater Mm. what are you up to these days i don't even i know where you work Kind of, but I don't know if you're still at those places. So yeah. tell me about it. Okay, so I w- I'm still working with my mom at Deb Shoe Gallery. I we'll miss be your mom. S- yes. we'll be- come see us anytime. I will. Ten to five. Visit. I will need a shoe. So <laughs> or you know just text me and you can come hang out. Oh my god, uh, yes. I've I got a cat. That. Come see him. It's oh, fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, we'll be celebrating our eight year anniversary this May. Wow. Um, and then I'm still working at the flower shop as well at Paulina's. Ooh, so I, love Paulina's. I have been with her for I think maybe five or six years now, but wow. I've been in a flower shop for 
about 10 or 11 years now. I just now. feel like that's so on brand for you. Why? Because, Why do you like, say that? When I picture like <laughs> Taylor Hartwick, I just see you like, like skipping in a meadow of flowers <laughs> and just like living your best life. Like that's what, I, that's how that's I see so you funny. just because you're so vibrant and so fun. And like, I've always enjoyed like our interaction. Mm -hmm. So like for me, it's just how I see you. Yeah. So you working in a flower shop just makes so much sense to me. Fair and enough. for people who don't know, we're cousins. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're also cousins yeah. even though like we're like literally exact opposite of each other yeah physically physically <laughs> but hey uh you know i love it though yeah we, we could do, if they ever do the barbie movie where there's like twins like the twin barbies <laughs> we could do that very well oh, but i want to be weird barbie oh that's fair weird i'm not barbie. flexible but yeah. i'm weird <laughs> That works too. Though. Hey, that works I'll fine. take it. I'll take whatever but Barbie. Yeah. Oh my God, Flower Shop. That's yes. awesome. In eight years of Deb Shoe Gallery. Yes. That is fantastic. Yes. Get, do you guys have social media? I know you guys have social media. Yes. I follow it. So, oh, yes. I so do. So, where can we find media. Deb's Shoe Gallery? Um, heavily on Facebook, mm. occasionally on Instagram. <laughs> just a dabble. Just a dabble. Whenever it's like a, oh yeah, I got to do that. You should really just connect the two, yeah. but it's just. Oh, it's so, uh, social media <laughs> is a time. I love doing it, yeah. but it's like, it's a lot. It it's is. a lot. It's but a full-time job. Yeah, it is. It <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah. So it's good. It's yeah. good though. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so last question mm -hmm. for okay. you. We like definitely geeked out about theater, which oh, I'm yeah. totally fine yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay, <laughs> so if you were to go back to your younger self. Oh God, am I going to cry? No, I don't know. Oh God. I don't know. <laughs> if you could go back to your younger self, think of like young... 14 year old okay. Taylor oh gosh. what She's advice would you give to her oh my gosh don't be so damn hard on yourself I <laughs> and you know what I'll say that to 28 year old Taylor yeah, too yeah absolutely mm. don't be so hard on yourself don't be so hard on yourself and don't be afraid to be yourself oh, oh my god you're gonna make me cry Free stop this goodbye. Oh, goodbye goodbye we're goodbye. Dying. <laughs> No, no, just embrace, embrace who you are because you don't know the um, experiences you're going to get from that. Because, yeah. you know, I was locked in a little bit of a box earlier mm. in theater. Yeah. When I was finally given that chance in this very building for the very Ooh. first time, yeah. the very first year of Act Two, which well, was Wizard of Oz. And I was Toto and I was pulled out of the chorus mm -hmm. because of how freaking fantastic this you are works yeah. and <laughs> oh my god you're like such we a good want toto. you to be the dog i'm like okay <laughs> and i didn't have a single line in that show mm -hmm. and it was mine yeah <laughs> trust me trust me i understand <laughs> but a little side story about that show was <laughs> i had my ipod shuffle playing through my costume <laughs> the whole time what? I had like one little earbud in and it was li uh, linked to my little jean shorts inside the costume. Oh my God. I love that though. <laughs> what a way to bring out that playfulness oh, though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We were vibing. Oh we were at a God. great time. I love that. <laughs> and I'm also super like thankful and happy because you're an OG act two person. I am OG. And you are OG because I'm not OG technically because I missed the first year. The OG. the OG of the OG. You hear and, me here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so like for you to, to say that it, it means a lot to me as somebody who take, took over the program kind yeah. of thing from Richard and Michelle and mm -hmm. like it's just a testament to what youth theater can do yeah honestly absolutely yeah. if I don't know if I would have been given those sh chances and shots had it not been for these experiences mm. in the wild characters that I did do in yeah, this building you did a lot of wild characters <laughs> I was Scuttle yes in Little Mermaid I was Cogsworth, Cogsworth in yes. Beauty and the Beast I was Toto and yeah yeah, yeah. oh my god yeah. yeah this building's wild man it is and then wild. you got to direct Aladdin too and then I did do it Aladdin with Devin yes yeah. oh, what yes. a time what a yeah. time that was yeah it feels like time. eons ago. Yes, it, it really does. It really, really does. Yeah. Oh my God, we're old. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> do not. <laughs> okay, we're not old, but like, we're kind of old. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to be old. <laughs> But yeah, we're getting old. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? At least we're not 30 yet. It's true. It's true. I'm seeing like all these babies that I knew from Hidden Talents that were in my yeah. tiny Hidden Talents that are now like preteens in high school or like even like graduated yeah, high school or they're in university and i'm like i know no, stay away stop, stop stay away growing. you're just a reminder you're just a reminder i'm getting old <laughs> yeah and i have a few kids like that in um little mermaid with me now wow and i'm like you just 
babies. Just, I call, just, even though they're like 16, 17, mm. I call them the babies. Yeah. The babies. Well, it's different when you, you have that connection, <laughs> yeah. right? I'm still called Baby Maddie here. Baby Maddie. Like, I'm still Baby Maddie. Baby and Maddie. I love that because there's also a, yeah. a little soft part of your heart that's like, I never want that to change. So who cares if you still call them yeah. babies? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much, Taylor. It's been a treat. Oh, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, of course. Lovely chatting and, with you. I uh, can't wait for Little Mermaid. It's going to be great. Uh, everybody get your tickets now. It's because almost by sold time, out. Yeah, by the time this airs, it's going to be, like, probably sold out. Yeah. So good yeah. luck. Good luck. Scalp those tickets. Sorry. It's going to be good <laughs> Yeah, I'm super, super excited. Well, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Right, bye, everyone.